Hello everybody, here is my new video about the tournament only by chance and this is a tutorial video. It isn't a good battle anyway, however, I will be discussing about the tournament since there are not much videos about this tournament in YouTube. It's a new tournament and it's a flag based tournament and up until now in the all the battles has been seen with this tournament there were always both uh, maps with both ocean and land. And the containers as usual, there are containers scattered around the map, both in the land and sea. Since it's a flag based tournament, there are usually five flags and each flag contain buildings. Buildings can be different types. By tapping on the flag, you can understand what this building is all about. There are warehouses and communication center vehicle factory there could be even special vehicle factory even headquarter and other administrative buildings could be present and if you capture a flag you will get those buildings activated and working for you on your side and the warehouse and communicate and the warehouses they provide you resources containers continuously however you need units there standing hold uh, standing at the flags to collect the container so in this battle I have three flags with warehouse and one flag contain vehicle factory and one flag contain headquarter headquarter gives 20 command points extra And if I capture the flag with vehicle factory, I will be receiving vehicles. You see, there are both confederation vehicle and resistance vehicle and all the buildings here are black, white colored. There is only resistance headquarter because only I have arrived here. The enemy haven't arrived here yet. If they arrive, they will uh, get their headquarter too. I'm going for ocean even that's not necessarily uh, important even using a platform is also sufficient since in this tournament the amount of resources and units especially units that are given are massive in a very short time very strong and a large number of units are provided and that decides the match so many players opt for not going for the ocean and uh, try to uh, captured the flags from the very beginning so here I'm capturing all the flags here here you see resource container came from the warehouse and I need units to grab this container otherwise I cannot grab it it can be also gra uh, taken by the enemy if the enemy have any units And in this uh, battle there is no special vehicle factory there is no flag that contains special vehicle factory so yeah there is no ch possibility of getting special getting special vehicles another resource container at the very beginning the each container found from the warehouse gives 60 resource container here you see one armadillo came out from the vehicle factory of resistance there were two vehicle factory one for confederation and one for resistance however only the resistance vehicle factory work now since I have captured it and the enemy did not another resource container here since it's a warehouse scouting the base and also taking the resource containers at the sea so you're, here you see I have Headquarter level 2, but still 68 command points, which is 20 command points higher. I should be having 48 command points, but now here 68, 20 command points extra due to the flag I, uh, of headquarter. I, due, due to the headquarter flag I have captured.
so enemy is having fortress yeah, still so late I'm going to take this flag too since this flag also contains a warehouse this will also provide resource container so your yeah, warehouse and this flags also gives uh, additional attack power like usual flags in domination battle So here, here you see that I'm just wasting my time constructing unnecessary buildings instead of finishing the battle just to show how much the resource containers are. I'm, you see the, throughout the whole battle I'm not using a single boost but yet I'm having a large number of resource containers and I'm developing very fast. Just 8 minutes and I got headquarter level 2 in, and also a lot of buildings on my side. And I actually want my enemy to capture this flag, so I'm leaving this flag now. So here, uh, so here I'm going to capture, uh, take, grab this resource container too. So in the warehouse with the vehicle of uh, where the vehicle factory is, I already got a lot of vehicles and also one Jaguar. It's already it's just nine minutes and I captured the flags a little bit delayed. Still I got one Jaguar so early. So they this gives like Jaguars too fast. Here, another Jaguar. So you see it's very important to capture the flag, especially that provides units. And also the buildings at communication center that also provides units. Yeah, the enemy is not experienced enough. many vehicles I already received many vehicles and also got extra command points and I tried f uh, using force firing but these buildings cannot be destroyed yes you should be knowing that how could that happen another fortress out and also assault yeah there's no significant units there as well so I will be finishing off this battle right now no point of delaying uh, taking it any longer so here you see I have headquarter level 3 already and also a lot uh, still a lot of resources which I'm spending on just upgrading my on my buildings so here you see I got huge amount of resources and also huge units without even producing just by capturing the flags so it's a light unit Battle, Cody, Rifleman, Salt Fortress. So, yeah, that's all.